In this video, we're gonna show how to record a podcast, either audio, video, or screencast on your Mac using QuickTime for free. Hey there, Craig Hewitt here from Castos. Excited to share with you how you can record a podcast entirely for free on a piece of software that already comes with your Mac. So if you're using a Mac, you already have a piece of software called QuickTime. It's a really great high quality recording tool, both for audio and video. And in this video, we're gonna dive in how you can record talking headshot like this using your webcam or the built-in camera on your Mac, audio only podcast or screencast where you have a thumbnail of yourself in the corner, recording your screen and the audio from your podcasting mic. Uh, this video is a bit like Inception for me because I usually record all of these videos and a lot of my podcast episodes, if it's just me, on my Mac using QuickTime. When you open the QuickTime app, there's not an app that opens, it's just the menu bar here. And we'll wanna select what kind of action we wanna take. Do we wanna record a movie? Uh, so that's just your webcam or the camera that's connected to your computer facing out. Is it just an audio recording? So if it's just you recording a podcast or say you wanna record a new intro segment for your podcast, this is hands down the way I podcast a lot of times. Do you wanna do a screen recording, which be a lot like this where you're recording your computer screen and the camera and just a little thumbnail on the side and of course the audio to go with it. If you want to record a movie it's just the webcam recording out and not recording your screen and audio would be just an audio only podcast. For this we're going to do a new screen recording. Okay, so it comes up with a few options here. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you can capture just a selected area of the screen or you can capture the whole screen. So we're gonna capture the whole screen since I've cleaned up my desktop for this. And under options, we're gonna make sure that we are recording from the right places. So our microphone is set correctly. We're not gonna use a timer. We're gonna use the QuickTime player to record and we're gonna have the floating thumbnail. So that is all good. And let's go ahead and hit record. So we're recording now. And let's say we want to do a screencast and record something that we're doing in the browser. So let's open up Safari on our computer. So I'll come down here to Safari and let's go to YouTube. Say you're doing a tutorial on YouTube, you could talk about how to sign in and create. So let's stop the recording and this is the button right up here. Stop that recording and we can see that this looks a lot like the screen that's right behind it, but you can resize this. You can see that this has you know some duration to it and we can see that we went to YouTube. So then you would just save this file on your computer here upload it to your editing software, publish it directly to a platform like Castos if you'd like. Back in the QuickTime menu, now let's record just an audio file. Let's say we just wanna record audio. Uh, we see the little recording bar here, really nice thing, it has a volume meter built in, and we can make sure we select audio quality. I usually leave this at high, I think it's plenty good enough for spoken audio, and you just wanna make sure that the microphone you've selected is your own microphone. So we can hit record here and record ourselves. Great, so we've recorded this and we can hit stop and then save this to your computer. And the last way you can record a QuickTime is a movie recording. So open this up and this is showing me. So this is really pretty trippy, right? Because I'm recording in another platform, but also recording in QuickTime. So I have my camera selected. That's great. So it shows my camera here and it shows my podcasting mic, the Samsung Q2U. And so this is gonna record at 1080p and high quality settings here, which is plenty good for most everything that we do. And then you can just hit record and this is recording me like a talking head video. And so we would just talk for a few minutes and and then once we're done, hit the stop button and save this to our computer. Hope that's helpful in showing how you can use QuickTime to record audio only, video with screencast, or video only podcast for free using QuickTime on a Mac. As always, if you have any comments, drop them in below. We'd love to hear from you how you're recording your podcast, any tips or tricks you have using QuickTime on your Mac. And if you're enjoying the channel, please like and subscribe. It really sends great signals to YouTube that you're enjoying and getting a lot of value from the content here on the channel. We'll see you next time.